Yo, what's good YouTube? It's Boardsy, and in this video I'm going to be going over the top three mice for Valorant. Um, I'm sure all of you guys know what Valorant is, I'm not going to fucking explain it. But yeah, it's a very like different type of game than Fortnite, which I know a lot of my viewers um, play. I'm pretty sure most of you guys play Fortnite. But if you play CS, it's going to be similar to like mice that are good for that. But I'm still making this video because I know it's going to get a lot of views. And I might as well try to help you guys out while you help me out. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to put gameplay. I'm recording this before I've made the decision. But I do already know my top three mice. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. I'm sure a lot of the CS people are going to be mad that I'm not saying use the FK1 Plus or like the EC2A. Um, suck my dick, don't care. But yeah, see you guys for the top three. Okay, so coming in at number three is going to be either the Model D or the G Wolf Skull or really any lightweight Ergo Mouse. Um, I couldn't pick a specific one because to me, um, both of these are like pretty good and virtually the same. Uh, there's obviously some slight differences, but a lightweight Ergo Mouse is going to be really good because you don't want to be using a mouse that's too heavy. I know that all of the pro players basically do use above 80 grams. But that's just because they're so used to it. I'm sure that if they took the time to get used to the um, lighter alternatives, they would prefer them. And yeah, these are going to be like 66 and 69 grams respectively. The uh, um, skull is 66 and it has a nice comfortable shape for people with larger hands who play in either um, palm or claw grip. It's not really made for fingertip, but you could kind of get away with it. But yeah, it's a solid mouse, solid clicks, it uses Omroms, Omron, relatively light clicks. They're not um, cut off though, and some people prefer the feel of that. Doesn't really matter to me. Um, decent scroll wheel, gets the job done. Side buttons don't matter at all for Valorant, but the side buttons aren't awful either. Um, it comes with pretty bad feet, but you can get hyperglides for it that make it very smooth. And it has a 3360 sensor, which obviously perfectly fine, and a very solid um, paracord-like cable. This makes it a pretty good fit for Valorant. You're going to want to have a mouse that's not like ultra lightweight. Like the Ultralight 2 is a bit too light in my opinion, because you do want to have some stability. Um, it's around the perfect weight for Valorant, and it has a nice, comfortable shape and solid clicks, which is why I put it at number three. The Model D, basically the exact same, um, just a tad bit heavier, and also it does have comfort grooves on the clicks. That's something that if you really want a comfortable big mouse, either of these are going to work, but I'd say if you have hands that are super big, get the Model D. I'm not really going super into depth, I'm just telling you guys, you gotta believe me, that a lightweight Ergo Mouse is going to be very good for Valorant, or really any um, game like CS or Valorant, where aim is prioritized. Woo, let's go, that was number three. Now on to number two. Coming in at number two on the list is going to be the G Pro Wireless. Um, I've basically mentioned this in like a ton of videos. You guys know that this mouse is very reliable. Like it's a super comfortable shape for virtually any grip type and any hand size. So um, if you really don't want to put too much research into what's going to be perfect for your hand, you can't go wrong with the G Pro Wireless. Um, it's the wireless technology makes it feel like honestly a bit faster than most wired mice. Um, truly no issues with the tracking. As some of my favorite clicks, um, some people don't like them. I do like them a lot. They're super light, pretty crispy. Um, but yeah, I guess some people don't like them. Scroll wheel, it's a bit loud, but gets the job done, works perfectly fine. Uh, it doesn't come with hyperglides, it comes with Teflon feet, so you're going to have to get some type of aftermarket skates. And yeah, overall, it's a super comfortable shape. It's the most used mouse in esports, and that just shows that it is a solid mouse, to say the absolute least. And yeah, the whole point of it being wireless makes it so you have complete range of motion. You can 
put it anywhere on your mouse pad without the wire interfering. And even with a great wire and a mouse bungee, um, the wireless is still going to feel like infinitely better. So if you really want to try to aim well, and can commit to a mouse, I'd say that the G Pro Wireless is one of the best mice to fully commit to, which is why I put it at number two. Okay, before, <clears throat> fuck, um, before we get to the number one mouse, I'm gonna give a quick honorable mention, and that is going to be um, all of these Zowie mice, but in specific, it's gonna be the Zowie S2 because that's the one I have and use. And ultimately what holds these mice back is their cable. Um, obviously I have a paracord, so that's like uh, kind of awkward. Um, the cables are r rubber and just really shitty. And you're basically going to need to paracord it to get a similar experience to a lot of the newer top mice. And I just don't think it's really worth it. They also have terrible coatings that are like sweat magnets. And if you have sweaty hands, it's a basically unusable after a few minutes of playing. They do have horrible scroll wheels, but that's not really going to be a huge issue in game. It's just like, holy fuck, how can a scroll wheel even sound so horrible? But yeah, they have solid clicks. Um, you're definitely going to be able to find a shape that works for you. There's a ton of options. And it does feel really good in your hand once you find the one that fits your grip style. Um, for me, that's the S2. But yeah, they're also a bit on the heavier side. A lot of the mice have their shapes taken and cloned and then put onto lightweight mice, like the Skull and Bottle D, and even the Ponage Ultra Custom, which I have coming soon. I cannot wait to get it. But yeah, Zowie has provided a ton of great shapes. It's just they haven't really executed on those shapes by keeping up to date with the new modern like standards which is why it's the honorable mention. I'm not saying they're unusable, but I am going to say that there's better options. Fuck, I unplugged the mouse and now I cannot click stop recording. Uh, okay, yeah, see you guys for number one. And coming in at number one on the list is going to be the Endgame XM1. Um, I'm sure that a lot of you guys knew, like if you watch my videos, that you knew I was going to say this. And I really just can't say enough good things about this mouse. I'd say that it's not perfect, maybe. I might say it's not perfect, but it's really close to perfect. And it just feels incredible. Um, it has nice Omron clicks. Why do I keep saying Omron? Am I fucking retarded? It's Omron. I've said the word like a million times. Sorry about that. But yeah, as you can hear, some solid clicks. Pretty light, not the lightest though. Um, a good enough scroll wheel gets the job done. Side buttons are good, but they don't really matter. Um, but yeah, I've made other videos that do talk more about the side buttons. And it has an insane grippy coating that is not going to get sweat on it. Um, like, at all. Like, you can play on this for hours with sweaty hands and it won't leave a sweat stain. Kind of impressive, kind of scary. Um, it also is the best stock cord on the market, um, undoubtedly. So, like I said before, even with a great cord and a bungee, it's not going to feel wireless. But this is the closest wireless experience you're going to get out of the box on a mouse that is not wireless. Um, that definitely made a lot of sense. So, yeah. Overall, this mouse is sorted towards people with claw grips or palm grips. And I'd say that this mouse is good enough that if you don't, naturally use a grip that is going to work well on this mouse that you adjust your grip so you can use it because it is truly just the best mouse on the market right now as a 3389 so it is a bit better than a 3360 but where this mouse um really sets it apart sets itself apart from others is it really does feel less laggy um not less laggy but more responsive this is something like i can't really show you you just gotta believe me when i say that this mouse like is responding quicker it is a more one-to-one -one feel than any other mouse i've used and i've used a ton of mice i don't know why it is they say that there's analog technology to give it a below one millisecond response time and i don't know if that's true but it certainly feels like it and if you guys do get this mouse or have it i want you to 
like comment vouching that this is true because a lot of people aren't going to believe it and i don't know why you wouldn't believe me it's foolish as fuck but it really does feel more responsive and that is huge for valorant because a lot of engagements are going to be settled super quickly so having a little advantage on your opponent is going to be huge um just like being able to snap and click a bit quicker is going to be um all the difference in the world also it comes with really good stock feet and they're buttery smooth and perfect so overall yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video probably not going to put any gameplay in but i might start streaming valorant a bit on twitch but yeah um any of the mice mentioned in my video are going to work very well and i'm sure that there's a ton more that will as well I just feel like these are going to be the best. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and sub and use code BOARDZ.